It's getting a little cardio in because TikTok is filled with cooking life hacks. So welcome to part five where we test and find out are these life hacks real or fake? There's only one way to find out and that's by tasting them. Come on. At what point do we stop buying candy and we start making it? That point is today. We need to stand up as American citizens and start making our own candy. So according to this TikTok, we can make Reese's Cups. And if you're a hustler, you can bring these to school and start selling them off for a dollar a piece. So let's see, is this recipe better than the original Reese's? First thing we need to do is we need to grind up some graham crackers. We got our graham crackers completely grinded up. One cup powdered sugar, let's do that first. No way that much. Do you see how much sugar this is? Get a zoom. That's a lot of sugar, man. Half of this peanut butter. And now we need to mix it all together. I don't know how this guy mixed this around so easily. So we made our peanut butter stuffing stuff and now we need to heat up some chocolate chips so that we can really get our chocolate outer rim of this Reese's cup. 12 seconds later. This is some chocolatiness. I'm kind of just trying to really break up individual chocolate chips that didn't really melt properly because you can still see the little chunkiness in there. We might just have chunky Reese's puffs. You know, that's fine with me, honestly, at this point. We need to get a little bit of a layer going. Then we need to make some of this. Disc shape, drop that down. Oh my God, I can already imagine how delicious this is gonna be. And then cover the rest. There's one. So all that time made us three Reese's Cups. So we're gonna put these in the fridge for about an hour, let them harden up, and then we'll try these things and we'll find out, are they better than the actual Reese's Cups? We'll see. So one hour has gone by and let's look at these things. They honestly look like a cupcake of chocolate as of right now. It's really in there. I cut one in half. So let's cut one of these up and let's see what the inside looks like. It looks like a giant, thick Reese's cup. The one thing that I'm gonna say just from cutting this, the difference between a real Reese's cup is that we all know how soft they are right away. They're not hard like that. That was like a solid little crunch that I had to get through with this knife. So let's taste it and let's hear if there's a crunch in it when I take a bite of it. It's very chocolatey. It's good, it's probably equally as good as a normal Reese's cup. I wouldn't say it's better, but for, for the sake of this video, we just made these at home. And that just shows how easy it is, so I'm gonna say that this life hack is a success. Because we made equally as good Reese's cup as the original Reese's cup. So, this is a success in my book. Listen here guys, I think this next one just broke the internet. I've never seen anything like this next life hack, so I'm not gonna explain it, I'm just gonna show it. himself has never seen anything like this. Okay, so this person just combined two of the craziest things that I already love, chocolate chip cookies and cinnamon rolls, all in one and make a giant cinnamon roll cookie. So let's try to make one of these, okay? I think the goal is the thinner they are. Well, the other part has to wrap around it. So put one of those. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, and one of those. Next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna grab three to make a giant outer rim, maybe four actually. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap this on top. And then, oh, oh it, it has potential. I can see how this could work now. Let's put this in the oven. Um, we don't really have instructions on how long, so we're just gonna go off of the instructions off of these, combine the two, and come up with an equilibrium medium. I don't know, I'm trying to use math from school, but school didn't help me at all. A few moments later. All right, we're getting a progress shot. Oh my God. Those are looking massive. You can clearly see on that point where there is something underneath. I think the cookie's done. But how do we know if the other one, I mean, guess those are kind of done too, and those are separate, so. Like those, that's kind of done, right? Like that. As you can see, we decided to cook the rest. I don't want to ruin it. Not done yet. Not done. I'll that. say like two more minutes. But should we eat the others? Are those ready? <laughs> okay, this is our final product right here. It looks rather dank. There is a little bit of brownage down there, so this is the best it's gonna get before you go any longer. It's gonna burn after this. So I'm heating up. 
How long did you put it in there for? 30 f we, we gotta pour this before we, well, there's no lights. We can't waste this <laughs> shit. Here we go, the moment of truth. Let's see what we're working with down here. Well, surprisingly, it's pretty cut. There's a little, a little black on there, but you know what? A little black never hurt nobody, am I right, ladies? I was gonna dip it in this sauce. Like, I feel like it's gotta go together, you know? Here we go. I think this might be the greatest invention that's ever been made. Wow! This is totally diabetes, but oh my god, guys! This is next level, you have the classic cookie, and then you get surprised with the cinnamon roll inside. Honestly, the cinnamon roll is stronger than the cookie on that bite that I had. Maybe it was because I dunked it in the sauce. And I feel like you have to burn the bottom of you the cookie. You have to, you're not bit. gonna get a properly cooked cookie if you don't, so. That's amazing. This is why I do the job that I do, because I get to try things like this. I'm gonna make stuff like this for my kids, and I'm gonna pretend that I made it, honestly. I'm not gonna tell them I took it from a TikTok life hack. I'm gonna be the best dad, because I'm gonna have all these inventions up my sleeve. I say this is a success. All this eating got me a little thirsty. I think we should do this next one at a fast food spot. What do you think, Jake? Okay. Let's go. Where'd you go? Yeah. Come on, I said let's go, what are you waiting for? What the hell? Let's go! We're in the drive through line at McDonald's right now, and we're about to place an order for something that's talked about all over TikTok. All right, I saw another TikTok that said you get a sweet tea from McDonald's and then ask for creamer. I really hope this isn't disgusting. Oh, this shit good. Hi, can I get a sweet tea? Sweet tea, what size? Large. Large. And just a couple creamers with that. Okay, how many? Uh, let's say three. Three inside or on the side? On the side, please. Okay, else? I should have them mix it. No, I'm sorry. No, that's it. Thank you. For Thank you. Okay. So, yeah. So supposedly, all over TikTok, it's talked about that there is this mixture that I never even knew was possible. Thank you very much. You have a good one. Okay, sweet tea with creamer. I don't know, let's try it. So here's our creamers, let's dump them. I don't know how I feel about this. All right, let's see what this looks like, this combination. Interesting. Let's taste it. I mean, it's like milky kind of, but I don't really know if I like it. Like I kind of enjoy sweet tea on its own. Like this really didn't do much for me to like really enjoy it. So, I mean, yeah, I don't really like it. What do you think? Taste it. <laughs> yeah, I don't, like I, I don't know guys. Like I, I'm, this is a personal preference type of thing. Maybe you're into this. I'm gonna say this one's busted. Cause this honestly doesn't taste good. Like sweet tea to me tastes bomb. This just made it like a creamy mess that wasn't necessary. This one had to have been created by a Latino because honestly, the only person that could think of this one is a Latino. And I'm not disrespecting cause viva los Latinos por vida hasta la muerte. Roll the clip. But hey, I don't discriminate. Let's do this. Come on over here. What we're gonna need to do is basically it's like a quesadilla, but there's no tortilla, it's just cheese. So we're gonna have to make the circle right now. I feel like you gotta work fast. You do because it, it, it does melt. Next thing you need to do, add some chetos, crack the egg. Crack the other egg. Let that cook for a second. And then we should do a flip. A few moments later. We're gonna attempt to send this right now. Hopefully everything stays intact. I mean, it stayed intact. We'll let this cook on one side and then we're gonna flip it. it doesn't look half bad. It doesn't, honestly. We're gonna rock and roll with the flip right now. Get this other side going, here we go. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, okay. That looks like that it. That looks just like it. All right, the finished product. 
But wait, there's one more thing. Ooh, more hot cheetos. And there is our finished product. But wait, let's cut it in half, shall we? Wow. Egg's a little runny. So that's, that's how we like, like it. it. Oh. That's the way we like it. You don't want to get too much. You want to keep the protein inside. If you cook it all out, where's the protein going? It's out. Let's taste this bad boy. Here we go. Ooh, it looks good. But how does it taste? The hot Cheetos inside have begun to get a little soggy, but the whole outer rim is very good. But then again, it's just kind of like an omelet. So honestly, I'm gonna say it is, it is good. Don't get me wrong. But I think it would have just been better to add the hot Cheetos very last, because I think when they sit in there with the egg yolk for the whole time, they get a little soggy. But regardless of the sogginess of the, the Cheetos inside, if you just pair it up with some of the outer hot Cheetos, that's a solid crunch. And it honestly goes really well together. I dig it. I'm gonna say this one's a success. Mm. Wow, the stuff you learn on TikTok. Hey Jake, have you ever had candy popcorn before? Yeah, like kettle corn? Not exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking more about Starburst coated popcorn. Huh. Sounds crazy, right? Yeah. Roll the clip. I've never even thought something like this is possible, but I'm excited to try it. So first step, let's start unraveling these. You ready? Let's do this. Uh oh man. That was a mess. The sad part is if I ate this all in one sitting, I'd probably eat all of these. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Okay, so we did it. This is everything. Here's all our trash, and as you can see, they kind of gypped us with the red. Pinks we got a lot, orange we got a lot, so we added those three yellows that we got into the red. Hopefully that'll work out for us. So before we start melting the Starburst, we gotta prepare them. So what we have here is some light corn syrup. We're gonna put a fourth of a cup in there. So. Oh, let's probably take this <laughs> I was wondering, I was like, yeah, this thing is thick. <laughs> One fourth corn syrup and one tablespoon of butter. Mind you, this is for each color, like flavor. For each one, yeah. So imagine all that extra corn syrup you're putting into your body, not including the sugar that's in these. I'm guessing this is gonna cause it to not be so sticky so it doesn't stick to the pot. So now we're gonna mix the Starburst inside of here, mix it all up. Now we're gonna lay this on the parchment paper and let it dry. Oh wow. This is so sticky, it's ridiculous. So now we repeat with the other two colors. Orange, baby. That's definitely orange. You gotta really be prepared because I don't know how we're gonna get this off the dish after. I definitely recommend getting like disposable Highly recommend that, because this is probably all stuck. Last one, we're basically out of bowls that'll fit, but this is ready, so we're gonna do it like this. That was probably our smartest idea, actually. We should've done that the whole time. Okay, so we've been letting these sit for about 10 minutes now, and boy, oh boy, do they look insane. I don't think I've ever seen popcorn that looked like this, so I think it's only time that we taste test. I think we'll go with red, just to start. She did say break it up, but I'm just gonna peel pieces off because I'm savage like that. Hold on a second, let me try out the pink one. They don't look like you like it. They're really sticky. Like, it's not that it's sticky because it's wet, it's just like it sticks to my teeth. Like it's, I, So it's like the when we made the, the nerd rope? Yeah, like it's not like it's supposed to go together, I don't think. It sticks to both top and bottom of my teeth, which is kind of annoying, but let me taste this paper. How is the flavor profile of the Starburst? Like, can you still tell it's a Starburst? Oh, all I taste is a Starburst. It's, it's honestly so annoying the way it sticks to my teeth the way it does. There's a little crunch, tiny crunch, but I feel like honestly, the Starburst coated it so much that it's not even really a crunch anymore. It kind of disappears, but it's not like soggy, it's sticky. 
if that makes any sense at all. I'm trying my best to explain it. I followed her directions to the T. From the amount of corn syrup, to the butter, to everything. And honestly, it's good, but I'd much rather just sit there and eat Starburst. Like, there's no real need to do this. And it sticks to your teeth so much that it's honestly unnecessary. Like, it's all in my teeth right now. I kinda wanna show you guys, is that nasty though? Yeah, I think it's nasty. Okay, I won't show you it in my teeth, but I'm gonna have to say that this popcorn meal was made just for TikTok. It's not really doable, it's not really edible, I mean, I'm gonna have to say that this one's busted. It should've just stayed as a TikTok video. Every time I finish one of these videos, I feel so bloated. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash the thumbs up button, click that little subscribe button, and hit that bell so you never miss out on any of my posts. If you haven't noticed, I'm rocking my merch. You should be rocking it too. Go to brennantaylor.com, and like I always say, you can text me if you just want to talk. 323-405-9940. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.